<laughs> no, e e eventually I will. But you see, everything's so speeded up right now. Like um, on one of the programs, we did a prediction show. Uh -huh. um, Kanashiba san, one of the one of the greatest Local psychics psychic, of all times. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we call it Predictions 2001. Well, we taped the show on the 30th of October because we're six weeks in advance, mm -hmm. and we started the prediction. Uh, we thought on January the first, and uh, it, the elections hadn't even happened yet. Right, right. But we built on what happened during and after the elections. Well, we thought we had covered the whole year, but we didn't. It all had happened within three months. Right. Because things got so speeded up, you know. But you plan to be here at least until 2012, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking way down the right, uh, way down the highway here. How far yeah. down the highway? Uh, about 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. You're going to leave then? It's just well, going to get good. Uh, That's you know, when this International Space Station is going to be up, yeah, and right. we'll probably actually have, I'm planning on having a little shop in the Hilton now that's in outer space. In outer space, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not being in this gravity field, uh, maybe I could hang out, you know, but yeah. the, the way it is now, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it's a little challenging. Mm -hmm. Physi physically, mm -hmm. physiologically? Yeah. You need to watch more of my show. You got to get on your computer. I do. Yeah. You got to get on your yeah. computer, and you've got to watch more of my shows because that's part of the things that we address mm -hmm. on there. Is um, we address if you decided to stay on the planet for mm -hmm. a very long time. This is like well over a hundred, two hundred, three hundred years. Then obviously you don't want to stay on the planet in a body that is aging and decaying. No, absolutely. You have to no. be in a body that functions, otherwise it's pointless and you're miserable and who nobody wants to do no. it. So um, a lot of the things that we address on this show is uh, the conscious creation of reality mm -hmm. and the shifting of molecular structure being our physiology in order to create a different reality and a, a different physiology. Now that part I yeah, I, actually, I agree with you there, but uh, in the physical as it is right this minute, um, I don't think I would want to do another 40 or 50, even though my my physical setup and makeup is still serving a purpose, mm -hmm. you see. And so, like, for instance, um, I, had an I have an obstruction in my neck, and it reacts to chemicals and things. Mm -hmm. And here a few months ago when we had the earthquake, um, it turned out that the soil I had been living on for 15 years was actually toxic. That's why I was sick all the time. So I was a canary, you see. <laughs> mm -hmm. and the so canary didn't fare too well in the mining days. No, it didn't. I just one didn't <laughs> either. <laughs> this one didn't either. But, um, but in, in a different form, I, I think mm -hmm. it would be wonderful to, uh, to hang around. In a different form. A different so you wouldn't form. want to be in a physical body. You have to. If you ask me, in if you ask me back in twenty years and ask me again, um, I'll have a better question uh, answer for you because uh -huh. right now, I really don't know. I think I'm going with the flow, and see where it takes me. Even though, even in the physical, I run dual realities at this time. Mm -hmm. But what if you could? What if? What if there was a a button you could push or a, um, uh, I don't know, a thing you could throw up in the air and you could have whatever the reality was. You know, if you could create a reality, you could say, in a hundred years, this is the experience that I want to have. Mm -hmm. I could probably manifest that if I really tried. But what would it be? You got eight minutes. <laughs> I, got, I got eight minutes. <laughs> so what, what would what would that reality be? I think I I think everybody um, would have the capability of of running dual realities where you where you're no longer handicapped with physical travel, um, where you would no longer be handicapped with monetary problems, where you could just think it and and go from one place to another, uh, like, a, what do you call them, holograms? Or, or just, just teleporting. Te teleporting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I would hope that 
the planet would be much cleaner, mm -hmm. you know, and we would have learned how to love one another instead of uh, uh, the racial problems. And, you know, we, we talked about uh, the border problems, we should open the border. So, mm -hmm. where, in other words, where everybody could do what it is they need to without hurting the next person and therefore run their dual realities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say run dual realities, define dual. Dual, um, well, your original question was, what would I want to do? Yeah. In, in my, what I want to do, would and want your I would like to, in my world, have people be able to run dual realities, uh, where you could, you know, be in two places at the same time. Or, oh, okay, so or you could bilocate. Bilocate, okay. yeah, so in, in that reality, like you asked me, everybody would have that. That ability. Cap that ability okay. to, to do that. Um, now, I've had occasion from time to time to, um, not for very long, but from time to time I've had occasion to not have to work. Mm -hmm. And it got really boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it got really boring really fast. Yeah. So um, how do you see people, what do you see them doing? I mean, you can only watch so much television, you can only play so many games, and you can only travel so far before you're bored. Mm -hmm. So what do you see them doing? Well, in that reality, uh, it would probably go back to, uh, to the uh, aboriginal ways of things. And the aborigines have no word for work. Mm -hmm. Uh, because if it's not giving you pleasure in things that you enjoy, you don't need to do it. And, and to go back to what I said earlier, if we didn't have the financial, you know, the money, we could barter, we could all do what it is that we enjoy and, and equally, you know, and equally share, then we wouldn't have to worry about that. Because, it, see, like, when I don't work, I have so much things to do, I wouldn't have time to get a job. So mm -hmm. by not having to go to work, um, I'm very busy. But the things that you're doing, that what do they do? You know, do they, it's, in other words, um, if no one worked, mm -hmm. if no one was working, first of all, we could do away with all the fast food restaurants mm -hmm. and all the restaurants. But define because work. Because we could Define replicate. that work. Please. See, I think of work as creating, uh, as providing a service that makes another person's life easier or more pleasurable. Mm -hmm. That's now, it. That's that's my definition of work. Now, most people, I think, their definition is something you do for gain as gainful employment or work or an exchange. No, I was thinking of it as, like I said, as a act that you perform. Mm -hmm in order to facilitate, it's something that you enjoy doing, mm -hmm. and you do it in order to facilitate ease or pleasure for somebody else. You know, somebody else receives ease or pleasure from something that it is that you do, and you receive pleasure and satisfaction mm -hmm. from doing it. So if someone, for example, builds cars, they like to build cars, they love putting together mm -hmm. mechanical things, then they would build cars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, somebody else just likes driving them, but they also like, they enjoy driving, so mm -hmm. they might go long distances and pick up things and bring them back because they like doing that. That's what they enjoy doing. So it's not so much job because you mm -hmm. get paid for this. It's job because you can't just sit around and twiddle your thumbs. You get bored. So you would not be bored if you, if you do, if, if you take the passion that you have and put it in something that you want to do. Mm -hmm. And so you won't get bored. And that's different, though, mm -hmm. than classic communism yeah. or socialism where you were made to do what it is that you did mm -hmm. best. Because that was, that was what I saw as an expression of what the communist China and whatnot had was that they tested people and said, this is where you have an aptitude, this is what you have to do, mm -hmm. and if you do this every day, then we'll give you food or we'll give you a pair of shoes once in a while or whatever, as opposed to... Do you like to do this? Okay, mm -hmm. then do it. Yeah. Now, in my reality, like you asked me, that line of thinking would no longer be present. Which one? Uh, in in the reality you asked me to create, you, you asked Which me... Which line of thinking would no longer be present? The, what you described. You have to do this and you have to do that. And, yeah. And so that would not be an issue anymore because no. the world would be a much better place. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, would, I, I look forward to living mm -hmm. in that world. 
in my physical life, I don't know, if, maybe after 12, 12, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. But but don't 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 you find that we sort of are in dual ri realities now? We are, mm -hmm. um, we are, and I yes, the present is the only thing that we have. Mm -hmm. You know that is that the in truth that is the only thing that there is. And at the same time, when I look at where I want to go or what I want my experience to be, I can't help but look forward and go. Oh well, in you know. At 2005, I want to have this experience. Mm -hmm. This has been so much fun. Oh yeah, it, it's uh, it's very really strange <laughs> to be on the other end of the stick here. And I must say, in closing, that um, I really thank you for having done it this way. Because remember, I said I would never do another talk show. <laughs> so well, I hope it was different this it, time. It was wonderful. Yeah, oh, it was really, it was really great. <laughs> and um, I guess I'm going to tell my viewers uh, goodbye too. And I had a wonderful time and. Um, where do we go from here? Onward and upward. Onward and upward. <laughs> and so, are we almost out of time, or do we have one more thing to say? I think we're close to the end. We're, we're close to the end, yeah. So, so, when are you coming back this up way? Up north, too? I will be up north again uh, in October. In October. Okay, and then, thank you for having me. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You did on the screen.